Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and this will be another paper three type practice question um, for global economy, the unit for global economy, and we're going to look specifically at tariffs, changes, calculating changes to consumer surplus, producer surplus, welfare losses, government revenue, and so on. This video will be part of the global economy playlist, uh, looking at types of trade protections, which includes tariffs. Uh, production subsidies, export subsidies, and quotas. You can also find this video as part of the dedicated playlist for uh, paper two, paper three calculation practice questions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question we're going to tackle in this video. So this video is going to focus on answering question A, and there'll be a link to the next video as along with links to the playlists that I just mentioned. Um, to answering question B and another follow-up video to answer question C and D. So it'll likely be the first part of a four-part video series tackling these questions. On the paper three, you can be provided a model like we see here uh, with quantitative uh, data on the X and Y axis so that we can make accurate calculations. Here it says figure one illustrates the domestic market for the primary commodity of wheat in Turkey. And we'll notice on the y-axis, we're measuring price in U.S. dollars per metric ton. And on the x-axis, we're measuring quantity in millions of metric tons per year. So let's go ahead and look at the information that's providing some context for this model. I would be ha in the habit on an exam to highlight key points being made within this information. So we're going to go ahead and do that. In April 2023, Turkey imposed a 140% import tariff on wheat raising the domestic price from $200 per metric ton to 480 US dollars per metric ton, which we notice here. We see that we had the initial price of 200 and that's been increased to 480. And that has increased the domestic production along the x-axis, but also reduced the domestic consumption so the import has the effect of reducing, I'm sorry, the tariff has the effect of reducing imports. There's a star here just to highlight that Turkey actually did increase their tariff or impose this tariff, not by 140%, but actually by 130%. But for the sake of this question, we're going to use 140%. Then it mentions that the S curve is the domestic supply. The D curve is the domestic demand. Then we have SW being the world supply curve, um, the global market setting that perfectly elastic price that all countries will accept. And then we have SW, the world price plus the tariff imposed by Turkey. Um, all right, so we have all the information so that we can interpret this model. So again, we're gonna look at question A. Question A asks us using figure one to calculate. So let's go ahead and out highlight what we're being asked to do. We're going to calculate the change in the consumer surplus resulting from the imposition of this import tariff. All right. So typically, the consumer surplus will be a triangular area. So we just need to use the formula for a triangle. So we have the height of A, the base of B, and the formula would be A times B divided by 2, and that would give us the surface area of that triangle. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try attempt this question on your own before we take a look at your workings versus my working. So please pause the video and try to answer question A. All right, so let's take a look. So calculate the change in consumer surplus. So what is the uh, initial height? Let's make a note here. So what was consumer surplus before the imposition of the tariff. And that's going to be equal, again, to the height times the base divided by 2. So we got to figure out what is the height. Let's uh, shade in the area so it's clear to us. We're going to follow the demand curve down. So it's the area below the demand curve, what you're willing and able to pay versus what you actually pay. Going down to the price of 200. And so here we clearly see the triangle that we're being asked to uh, calculate. So the height is 1800 minus 200. So I'll put that down. The height is 1800 minus 
200. And that works out to 1,600. So I'm going to highlight that because I'm going to need that information. On my height, fine, I calculated that. And then I'm going to try to figure out the base. And the base is going from 0 all the way to this point here. All right, we calculated the height going from the y-intercept down to the price of 200. And the base is going up to this point here at $200. It's intersecting with the demand curve. So I want to figure out what's the value of each of these intervals. So I have 2 million, or 2, divided by how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So we're going up by units of 0.4. OK? So here we have 16, 16.4, 16.8, 17.2, 17.6. So here we have 17.6 million. Perfect. So I have that. Now I can figure out the surface area of the two. Let's see. So we have 1,600 times 17.6 million. And that equals 28. 1,160 million, and it's a triangle, so we're going to divide that by 2, and that works out to 14,080 million. All right, so there we have that. I'm going to highlight that. So I've calculated that initial consumer surplus, 14. Perfect. Now let's move on and calculate the uh, consumer surplus after the imposition. All right, so next is going to be consumer surplus after the imposition of the tariff. Again, it'll be areas A plus A times B divided by 2. So what's the new triangular area? Let's highlight that. All right, so again, we're going to follow the demand curve. down to that higher price. And this will illustrate the new triangular area that we're calculating. There we see it. So we have the y-intercept of 1,800, but at a higher price of 480 that was mentioned before. OK, so let's do that. So here we have the height of A being equal to 1,800 minus 480, that higher price, and that equals 1,320. I'll highlight that. There's my height. What about my base? My base is here, 14.4, 14.6. So my base is equal to I'm sorry, 14 point, 4, 14 point 8. Yeah, 14 point 8 million. So now we can multiply them. Here we have, I'll highlight that again. So my final answer. So we're going to take 1,320 times 14.8 million. That's going to equal 1,000, sorry, 19,536 million divided by 2 because it is a triangle. And that works out to 9,768 million. All right, and then I just need to figure out the difference between the two, and then I'm figured out the change. All right, so the last part. Let's get to this last part here. So the change in the consumer surplus can be equal to the final value 
minus the initial value. And so my final value is right here. My initial value is right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that. So the final value is equal to, as we see, 9,768 million, 9,768 million minus the initial of 14,000, 14,080 million. And that final answer is now negative. Consumer surplus has been reduced by 4,312 million or 4.312 billion. And there's our final answer. I'm going to highlight that. And there we've covered and answered this question. Okay. So there we have it. Uh, consumer surplus has been reduced by $4,313 million as a result of the government position raising price. Consumers are negatively impacted um, in Turkey as a result of that 140% import tariff. Uh, the next video will continue on question A, actually, and I'm going to show you how we can calculate the just the, the, the change in the consumer sur surplus by looking at this blue trapezium area. So we're going to go over the, the formula for that as an alternative way of ca quickly calculating the change in consumer surplus as opposed to calculating two triangles and subtracting them. Due to the lack of space, I'll just create a link to the next video to cover that, and then we'll move on to question B. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment those questions, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you so much.